I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com on Monday, September 23rd. And I want to look at Cigna. Uh, if you've been trading this stock, you'll see that this chart looks a little different. The reason is because it ends here on Friday the 20th. <clears throat> and this is why. I want to show you something. I'd covered this stock in, the, um, in one of the videos in our, in our weekend update. Um, talking about the sell-off, how, you know, the, the smart money, if you're just kind of following the three-day rule, which um, simply is like you got to let three days go by before you really do anything. And here's the underlying reason, um, like on a downturn, um, the real smart money sells the first day. They're the ones that smart, hence big, um, sells on the first day. That's the one that kind of starts the move. I guess you could say that would be on Thursday. Um, or excuse me, on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, the semi-smart money sells. They see this stuff um, happening here. They see the big volume and say, you know what? I don't know what the heck's going on here, but I'm out of here. I don't like this. Love this part, this part, not so much. So I'm out of here. Um, so then they go ahead and sell. And then basically in these short-term gyrations of stocks, um, there's really nothing there's really nothing, no more um, selling pressure to come at this level, and then the stock lifts a little bit. Um, so my suggestion was this is a good opportunity. To, it's a great opportunity to buy. It is a low risk opportunity to buy because you can define your risk by keeping a pretty tight stop. Okay, so you buy here with this as your stop. Now we look here and see what happened. Um, the stock is still looking okay. So you'd be okay on this trade, but let me not refine that. Let me just explain it a little bit more or just kind of flesh it out. Um, unless you're brand new um, to Stock Market Mentor, then you probably know what a shot across the bow is. Uh, and that is just my term for um, the first time a technical picture really kind of breaks down like you got a really nice uptrend and all of a sudden you know boom something bad happens and then suddenly it gets back and everything's fine and oh we just say that's just like you know probably nothing maybe just somebody had a fat finger and they uh, sold too much or something but oh boy the stock recovered well then later as it turns out um, the stock didn't recover. That was just the first shot across the bow and a sign that uh, we're going to get more nastiness ahead. Um, I'm not going to say that that's what this was, but I will say this. I look at this as a trade now, like just kind of a bounce trade. I'm not looking for 90 bucks. I'm not looking for 100 bucks. Shoot, I'd be happy with 81. Uh, and this is why, because when you see this kind of move, directional move from 84 down to like 77 in three days, and you see big volume, <clears throat> that's institutional activity. Only institutional activity generates this kind of volume. And you say, well, how do I know whether they were buying or selling? Look, somebody was buying or somebody was selling, but who was the more aggressive institution? I would have to say it's the seller. Um, why? Because price is moving down. So what I'm saying is there is something wrong with this stock. Look at the others. Same thing. So Cigna had been a really nice high flyer um, moving out of a volatility squeeze. Now you got to look at this as yes, it's a trade. Yes, we could get a little bit uh, more movement to the upside, but I don't want you to just sit here and think that the uptrend is fine, uh, that this didn't even happen. It did. So look at this as a trade, as a short-term trade, um, not as a marvelous buying opportunity so that you can get the stock before it goes to 100 bucks. Great entry, but define the rest of the trade, and that is just a nice short-term trade. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, I will see you all in the forum tomorrow. If you haven't tried Stock Market Mentor, um, hey, give it a shot. You get 30-day free trial. You don't even need a stop loss on that dude.